Kano, this is your first time here. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you've been here before, thank you so much for returning. So today, y'all, as you can tell by the title, I am doing a partial pantry tour, y'all. Y'all, and if no means, like, this is, like, my whole entire prepper pantry, y'all. This is just a little small snippet of my prepper pantry. I have additional shelving throughout my house, or not throughout my house, like, throughout my kitchen and dining room, y'all. But I did want to go ahead and start showing you some of the items that I had and just giving you a look of what it looks like, y'all. So this space right here, um, it used to be like a little storage area, y'all. I pulled everything out of this area and converted it into a prepper pantry. And that's why I say whatever space you have, especially if you're not really using it, you can, there's a lot of space that can be used, y'all. Um, so any space, empty space that I have in my house, I try to utilize for prepper pantry and just prepper items in general, y'all. So I hope you enjoyed this video and now I'm straight into it. Okay, so the first item that you're looking at is, um, is, honey that I purchased from Sam's is just the Be Proud Clover Honey and that's just two 40 ounces. I also have my grandma molasses in there. Coconut oil, I have the smaller containers as well as a huge container that I purchased from Sam's. I have just um, gravy, both beef and turkey. And then here's my Heinz home style gravy. So I have the classic chicken and the roasted turkey. And then I just have a couple of packages of the Bacon Bits, just a great value brand. And then that larger package up there is the Sam's brand. And y'all, of course, I have my little light from Dollar Tree because this room did not have a light. So I just stuck that in there, paid a dollar for it, takes three AAA batteries. So next up, we have the Hunt's Pasta Sauce, y'all. And this is where I keep the majority of it. I do have some of this in my kitchen cabinets, as you guys probably saw in a video from a couple of days ago when I was doing my kitchen cabinet clean out. And then I also have the Prego sauce. It's just the meat, garlic, and herb. I have regular Hunt's tomato sauce and tomato paste. And then I have the Hunt's meatloaf, which I hauled not too long ago. I only have the two cans just because I've never tried it before. Then I have the Rotel, both the regular and the no salt added. And then I have the Hanover Brown um, sugar baked beans. And then, of course, I have my Bush's baked beans. I have, um, I don't know how many cans I have, but I have quite a few back there. And I also have some of these in my kitchen cabinets. The next shelf is where I try to keep a lot of my meat, y'all. So this is just different brands of um, chicken. So I have the Members Mark brand, the Hormel brand, chicken breasts, and then the Tyson. And then the Brookdale, I believe, came from Aldi, y'all. And then I have one can of the um, Great Value brand. And then I have my, I think I have like eight cans total of the Keystone's chicken. I feel like I have some somewhere else as well, but this is what I'm seeing right here. Also, I have the Keystone's turkey and I have several cans. That's what it looks like. And then I have the Hormel white and dark turkey and these cans came from Walmart. I have the Keystone's beef. I only have two of those, y'all. This ham right here was purchased from Dollar Tree and I have about four packages. And that's just, it's different cuts. It has a biscuit cut and then I think I have, let's see. Oh, the trimmings right there. So I have about four packages, y'all. And again, that came from Dollar Tree. I also have Spam, Armor. This is a roast beef and gravy. I have four cans of those. And then I have the Hormel brand smoked ham. I also have the DAC premium pan, and these are the bigger cans, y'all. That's what it looks like. And then right behind that, I have two cans of the Keystone pork. On the shelf right below that, I kind of just have like my Vienna sausages and just some random things like the corned beef hash, just things I don't have a lot of. Um, the sausage right here, and then I have a Brunswick stew back there. So most of this is just your Vienna sausages and it's both the chicken and then the regular original um, Vienna sausages. I have Star Kids Pink Salmon and Water and this came from Amazon y'all. I purchased this from Amazon and it's just like the tuna that they have in water so it's pink salmon. So I have a pack of those. And then I have several cans of salmon. And of course, this came from different stores. This is a combination of, I believe that come from Aldi. And these cans right here came from Walmart. As well as the bumblebee, the red salmon, these all came from Walmart. Right here, I have tuna. So I have several sacks of tuna going all the way back there. Like, we love tuna, y'all. And then I have two packages of, or two boxes of the eight packages or eight pouches. And that's the one in water that I just told you about with the salmon. 
And then I have the Bumblebee that's light tuna and both of those are in water. So the next item I have is this Hillshire's. And if y'all remember, I hauled this in a Walmart haul after Christmas. I purchased this for $7.49. And of course it has the cheddar, the summer, sa summer sausage, wheat crackers, the other cheese, the Swiss cheese. So I have just one box of that. I wish I had picked up more than one, but I didn't. Also have the Augustine Farms, the rolled oats, and this is 22 servings. And it has a 30 year shelf life, y'all. Moving down right below that, I have the Augustine Farms. Um, it's the emergency supply, 48 hours. And that is everything that comes, let's see if I can tilt that up. And that's everything that comes in it, y'all. So you have the buttermilk pancakes, the maple brown sugar oatmeal, cream chicken, macaroni and cheese, and the creamy potato soup, y'all. And again, that is 48 hours. And the shelf life is up to 30 years from what it says right here. And I have two of those right here. The next item I have, these are just sweet potatoes. I'm keeping them in a brown cardboard box. Um, that's supposed to help them last longer. So I've had these for a couple of weeks so far. Um, and they still look okay. I mean, I don't know how much longer I have on them. Looks like they may be starting to turn in a couple of spots, but that's what I keep them in. So below my Vienna sausages is where I keep my things like my pumpkin, um, pie mix, and then my yams. So it's got the candy yams, the Bruce's brand. I have several of those. And then I have another brand that I purchased from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to have to move this out the way right quick so I can show you guys the rest of it. So I also have just a few cans of the Manwich Bold. Um, and I only have a few cans just because we didn't like the regular Manwich anymore. I think they changed up their ingredients years ago. So I had a couple of recommendations to try the Bold. So I picked a few of those up. Then we have the Prego and the Classico um, Alfredo sauce as well as some other jars that I picked up from both Aldi and Walmart. And then my great value sauce, y'all. I told y'all I love this pizza sauce. It's the best. So I like to keep a lot of that in the house. And of course, it's right here in the prepper pantry. Okay, y'all. So the bucket that sits in front of all of this right here is just where I like to store like my pickles, my sweet cubes, and um, things of that nature. Just because it's glass and I don't really feel comfortable sitting it on the shelf. So I feel like it's kind of out of the way. We have it all together. And it also has a jar of the apple cider vinegar. But again, that's kind of just what it looks like. It's just full of pickles and sweet cubes, y'all. I also just wanted to show you my two buckets of long-term um, storage. So this is my rice. Y'all, I just started this yesterday. So this is my jasmine rice. It's 25 pounds. And then I have the great value generic rice um, and it's 25 pounds in there. And I'm going to actually push that in there. And I think I'm going to have it stored right there in that area right there. So that's going to be the new spot for it. Right outside of this pantry, y'all, right off the kitchen, um, this is where I have like more canned goods. So these two racks I purchased from Amazon and they hold up to a certain amount of cans. So I'm just gonna go over really quickly everything I have right here. So I just have like a lot of the French cut green beans. I have my potatoes, my sweet peas, peaches. I have the chicken a la king. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I have cranberry sauce, apricots, um, pears, mandarin oranges, and again, more cranberry sauce. So that's one shelf. And then if you step over here, I have a lot of beans and veggies on this one. So I have my bushes, black beans. Um, I have my dark kidney beans, light red kidney beans, pinto beans. Um, it looks like there's more of the light red kidney beans behind that one. I also have, um, chili beans corn lots of corn y'all because i love corn and then we just have the regular whole green beans as well as the cut green bean y'all and then right here we have the french style green beans so that's all right here on these two shelves and again y'all that's why i feel it's so important to utilize whatever space you have so that's right between here y'all and i hate to say it but right there is the bathroom we have a bathroom right off our kitchen and this is the spot where i'm keeping this food y'all so the last part of the pantry is this little door hanger right here. So I'm just going to go over this real quickly. I purchased this from Walmart. You can go to Walmart's site and purchase it. I think it's about $34, y'all. So I just have a thermometer in there. And then I have the breadcrumbs. So I've got a couple of the panko right here. And then I have those two brands. Also, I have several boxes of the Suddenly Pasta with Bacon. My chicken bouillon, um, I've got the better than bouillon, and then I've got the roasted beef better than bouillon. 
I have more of the Zatarans, and this is both the jambalaya mix as well as dirty rice. Down here, I have more pepperoni. I have some more of it out there in the freezer. I have an Arm & Hammer. This is just like the refrigerator um, box that you put in there. Um, I have scissors. I have can openers. V8, y'all. I love V8. I know that's not normal, but I love V8. I have since I was a child. I have this Augustine Farms like wrench lid. So this is what you would use to open like the food grade buckets. I purchased that after watching one of Peggy and Dawn's videos the other day, and they had one. So I figured I definitely needed one because... If they're anything like they are to put on, I can imagine how they are to take off without this tool right here, y'all. So I got me one of those. Also have my cornstarch, my ghee butter, um, just different drink packets and things of that nature. Um, I have my coffee. I think there's like, it was four boxes. Okay, so that slid down. So yeah, there's four boxes. I have um, plenty of Kool-Aid, more drink packets. Have my peanuts right here, more yogurt raisins, just little snacks for the kids. Just raisins, yogurt raisins, regular raisins. Also have a huge container of the California raisins. I believe I purchased those from Aldi's. And y'all ignore my um, Swiffer right here. Don't don't pay attention to that. But the last few items that I have here is just the Jif to Go. And I remember purchasing that from Dollar Tree, y'all. So I got two different boxes as well as the hazelnut spread that's comparable to the um what's it called nutella y'all nutella but this is walmart brand and then the last item is the frito's jalapeno cheddar y'all so yeah y'all that's all that is how my pantry started out and again this rack came from walmart it all started in this little off the off the kitchen um storage area y'all so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Um, also make sure to subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of great videos upcoming, y'all. And so I do a lot of food and prepping videos, but I'll also be doing cleaning videos as well as grocery hauls and vlogs eventually and things of that nature. So if you enjoy that kind of content, again, I would love to have you here. Make sure you subscribe and hit your notification bell. That way you can be notified each time I upload and I will see you guys soon.